After years of soaring catalytic converter thefts across the state, police announce a major bust involving a recycler in Brighton. Tonight, we have a better idea of the size of that illegal operation and how long investigators have been working on trying to shut it down. Your investigator, Karen Morfitt, has been reporting on these thefts for us, the changes to laws and the impact to the community. Karen, the biggest question has always been, where are these converters going? Yeah, Karen, that's the question we hear over and over again when we hear from victims. And this case gives us a much better idea. While investigators have long speculated that these converters were being pushed out of state or often broken down for what was inside, it was hard to track. But this investigation, it shows that much of that material ultimately goes back to the manufacturers. Investigators say these six men over just a few years have bought hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stolen catalytic converters. As the number of thefts skyrocketed across the metro area, investigators with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, Homeland Security and Weld County Sheriff's Office were watching a Brighton business, Elevation Auto Corps LLC. According to arrest papers in the case, undercover officers and confidential informants wearing cameras found they could walk in and sell what were obvious stolen catalytic converters to the company's employees with ease. Screenshots of those operations show the suspects with wads of cash ready to buy. According to information in the court documents, the converters were either put on pallets and trucked out of state, often ending up on the East Coast to be shipped out of the country, or they were decanned right in the Brighton facility for the metals inside. According to bank transactions, the illegal ring made millions of dollars by reselling that product. Photos taken during the investigation show bags filled with those precious metals inside a semi-trailer headed for Texas to the BASF Corporation, a German-based chemical company, also the world's largest manufacturer of catalytic converters. Now, Elevation Auto LLC also operated a second location in Las Vegas, Nevada. Three of the suspects are being brought back here to Colorado. Everyone will be facing charges for violating Colorado's Organized Crime Control Act theft, as well as money laundering. The leader and suspected owner of that company is expected to be back in court later this month. In Denver, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.